more. So today, this video, oh honey, this is a video I would have never, ever thought I would have to make. But here we are, quarantine. I'm quarantined, you're quarantined. And if you're not quarantined, you should be quarantined. So this video is going to be just a little bit different. I mean, the quarantine hacks, what could that be? But this video is something I feel I needed to make because I don't know if you guys are aware, there's a virus out there. I know you probably haven't seen it in the news or anything like that. No guys, I'm just kidding. I know a lot of you already know what's happening. And I know most of the people watching this video are here in the US and we've just recently been told to self quarantine. But also there's a lot of people in Europe and I know you guys have been going through it and everything related to this virus is just so difficult for everyone. But I'm not really sure if you guys know this cause I don't talk about it a lot, but I'm a biologist. <laughs> I know that's weird, but I am. Here's proof, I went to college. And watching all the misinformation that's out there, I'm just like, I can't, I can't. So you know what? This whole virus and this whole quarantine also needs to be exposed. And just bear with me for this video, I'm gonna do kind of a mix of what we usually do, but we'll also be debunking some myths and trying to give you guys some information that actually comes from scientific and trustworthy sources. Cause I know it's a lot. So hopefully this video will just make everything easier for you guys to digest. So hack number one. <laughs> One, I'm already going crazy here. And that hack is to not go outside because the virus is in the air. You go outside, you breathe, you dead. So first of all, even if you do get coronavirus, you're most likely to live. And I'm not downplaying the severity of this virus at all. I'm just saying everybody going out there saying the world about to end and we all gonna die. Just don't listen to that. Let's listen to the World Health Organization, shall we? It is spread from person to person, mainly through the droplets produced when an infected person speaks coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby. <laughs> These droplets are too heavy to travel far in the air. They only travel approximately one meter and quickly settle on surfaces. So there you have it. You should definitely stick to your self-quarantine because if you go anywhere, yes, you're likely to be close to people, but don't think that just going downstairs to get some fresh air is gonna kill you because that's just not it. Hack number two. So while you're staying indoors, life doesn't have to be miserable. I see all you guys complaining, but there's so much to do. Maybe I just feel that way because I'm an introvert, so I'm always inside. I really just found out my lifestyle is called quarantine. So that's why I can give you this hack. And I know people online are telling you to work out, learn a language, cook some new things, but really do we want to do that? It's fine if you want to be lazy. You want to be lazy and you want to be entertained. Luckily, there's been so many new things put in place to help with our quarantine. And I will leave links for you guys because honestly, I feel like we could do a whole video just about that. You can watch some Love is Blind, some 90 Day Fiance, and I know these are all on paid services, but you know what? You can get a free one month trial for Amazon Video, for Netflix, for Hulu. And honestly, you could keep doing that forever because now you got time to create multiple emails. Also in the App Store, they've made some games that are usually pay, they've made them free. And these are really popular games. I will leave them right here. And also shameless plug, I know, we literally just came out with a video game too. And this game is completely free. It's based on my dog Burrito. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. We've been working on it forever. And it was always gonna launch this week cause it's my birthday week, but you know. So if you wanna play Burrito Blast, it's available for you. It's completely free. And hopefully it'll just brighten up your mood and quarantine just a little bit. Also the Metropolitan Opera is doing free live streaming. If you're sophisticated and into that. And free delay. Delivery. You shouldn't be overeating. Cause let me tell you this, you're not hungry, you're just bored. Companies like Grubhub, DoorDash, Caviar are offering free no contact delivery so everybody can stay safe and well fed, most importantly. Also Chipotle is offering free delivery on orders more than $10. KFC, Little Caesars, Cheesecake Factory. I'm eating Cheesecake Factory for dinner tonight. And also there's a free TV streaming services. You don't gotta spend your coins to be entertained. Sling TV, lots of free content. Sling TV, Acorn TV, I will leave the other ones in the description. Really they're just making life easier for us to actually stick to the self quarantine quarantine so we can get through this. Hack number three, most definitely go online and believe everything you read there. This is obviously not a hack. It's obviously what you should not be doing. There was this video going around that I can't show you here because it's way too graphic, but this girl was throwing up something black and everybody was saying it was because of the virus. And you guys, throwing up black or throwing up for that matter is nothing that we've seen that's been related to coronavirus. The real symptoms you should watch out for are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. And it's a dry cough, not like I got something here. It's like a hollow cough. Hack number four, hand sanitizer. Just take it everywhere, spray it all over yourself. And if you don't have hand sanitizer, you could just make your own. It's super easy. I mean, that's what TikTok says. So if you remember, the easiest way to get this virus is when you're in close contact with someone that's been already infected. So something that's way more effective than homemade hand sanitizer is self-quarantine. I know a lot of you guys aren't doing it, but you should. And professionals have pointed out that these homemade hand sanitizers are lacking something that we typically find in the ones we buy at the store, which is emollients. That's just a nice word to say. You could 
actually put it on your skin. The ones you're making at home are usually better for surfaces. And Professor Sally Bloomfield at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Yes, honey. Yes, I said that all in one breath. Says she does not believe you can make an effective hand sanitizer at home. And I will leave all my sources in the description box. So you don't think I'm making this up. Hack number five, always wear a face mask. And if you can't find a face mask, you can DIY a face mask. It's just that simple. Oh, we know where the paper towels went. No way. She DIYing a mask. Look, ugh, this is insane. This is the dumb, oh my God. I cannot. I'm seriously very upset at people just spreading misinformation or views and likes. This is our life. This is our planet. And y'all think about likes? Disgusting. A paper towel will most definitely not protect you against the virus. But I think most people are smart enough to know that. Maybe not. But what about N95 mask or the N99 mask? Everybody was talking about that. That won't work either. But don't believe me. Believe the World Health Organization. WHO only recommends the use of masks in specific cases. If you have cough, fever, and difficulty breathing, you should wear a mask and seek medical care. There you go. These masks are made to keep things in, so nothing coming out from you, which is why if you're feeling sick, definitely you should try and wear a mask, but they're not really made to keep things from coming in. So this is almost like a fool's errand. The World Health Organization says to only wear a mask when you're sick, coughing, or sneezing, or if you're healthy, only if you're taking care of a person who's suspicious to have coronavirus. And if you guys need more information, here you go. And it was never made to protect you from bugs coming in. They're not effective at all. So people wear them, they look like they're doing something they're not. Now, if you are sick, they may help a little bit from you transmitting because if you cough, then you cough right into that cloth and it'll some of it will embed in there and not get out around. There you go. So just stop taking selfies in these and making people think they need to wear them at all times of day. Hack number six, you should eat healthy. And yes, this is absolutely true. Don't believe me. Believe Michael Osterholm, a specialist in infectious diseases like this virus. What can someone do to shore up their immune system? First of all, just being as healthy as you can be. You know, wait, wait, you know, keeping in shape is really important. We gotta stay in shape or get in shape for some of us. Work out, eat healthy, and your immune system's gonna be like, thank you. Thanks, ma'am. Yes. Hack number seven. Make sure you get all the toilet paper. And I mean all of it at the store. Like so. <laughs> That's literally a fight over toilet paper. I can't believe this woman. I can't believe her. Well, not only is she fighting over toilet paper, but she's doing it with someone that's a senior. And seniors are the ones that are most at risk with coronavirus. So if you see a senior, you help them. You don't try to steal their toilet paper or anything else for that matter. No overbuying. You're good. You got enough chips at home. It's fine. The Doritos will last. We need to worry about those that are most in need. Some of our parents, some of our grandparents. And even if it's not your parents or your grandparents, are you really going to be that person that says, I don't care about grandparents? How could you? They're the most precious thing in this world. If that's you, just show yourself up. Go, go, now. And stores that have already told us they're not closing down, so there's no need to overbuy. Because the reason why everything sold out is because people be overbuying. They would have just bought normal food. We would not be in this scenario. But luckily, stores are opening their doors an hour earlier for seniors. So if you know of someone, let them know. Or just go buy the stuff for them, because come on. But yeah, guys, there you have it. Of course, there's so much more information. I tried to make this really short and digestible. But please check out the links I'm leaving. Stay informed, stay healthy, stay calm. The last Last one I feel the most important because some people out here, I mean, don't get me started, okay? Don't get me started. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.